I was just, I'd like to uh, challenge the assertion yeah. that without God that you can't know anything. You can't know anything for certain. Because uh, basic philosophical and, and epistemological yeah. methods of knowing uh. something, something such as just, we have a theory called justified true belief, one that you have to have justification for making claims. However, the problem is that how... So you're not a solipsist? I'm sorry, did I interrupt you? Well, this is a free exchange, so if that offends you, you're free to leave. I'm not, I'm not offended. I'm just, okay, I'll just being up front. I want to make my point. Right. Because, I mean, that's... A, so here's the here's the thing. Yeah. In, in epistemology, right, right, you have to have certain justification to make claims of something existing or not. But the thing with science is that science is based on falsification. So if you went from epistemology to science... Yeah, because they're related. Are they really? Philosophy. How does a scientific law give you epistemology? How does epistemology give you a scientific law? No, I can't. Not when he's making multiple points at once and not clarifying his position. He's a big boy. He can take it. Science is based on a certain epistemological uh, features, such as... Science is based on certain epistemological assumptions. Assumptions, sure. That's right. That's what I'm saying. That's the nature of a worldview. It's based on pre-commitments. The problem that, uh, that I see with your assertion is that you have to... Based on justification, we deem uh -huh. solid that claims must be falsifiable. The problem with religious claims is that they're completely unfalsifiable because you're working backwards. Now, from okay, let me ask you a question as somebody that raised the issue of epistemology. What is epistemology? The epistemology is a study of knowledge and whether we have the justification to make claims okay. of knowledge. Sure. So then let me ask you a question. Ready? Mm -hmm. Without God, what do you know for certain? Well, you know, the certain faculties that we use, such as logic and reason, uh, they're sort of... I'm, they're I'm, not, I'm not telling you to speak for humanity. I'm telling you, just you as an individual person, without God, epistemologically, what do you know for certain? I know that, uh, well, that's an epistemological claim that you can, you can, you know, that's called a, what is it called? Sorry. It's turtles all the way down. At some point, you have to make some certain assumption, right? An axiom by which you work on. The axiom that you work off is that there is a benevolent God. So do you want to tell us what you know for certain epistemologically uh, without God? Is there one article of knowledge that you know for certain without he's God? He's prone, he's prone. Because that even, that itself assumes that you can make the claim that there is a God to begin with. The problem with the okay. claims is that there is such thing as... I'll try it again. The question was real simple. What do you know for certain without God? Well, you could deem that, you could say that about literally anything, even the intelligible claim that there that's is a, a God. That's a, what you just done there is an ir irrelevant thesis. I didn't ask you about other claims. I'm asking you a very simple one-to-one -one question here. Without God, I know it's hard to answer, are you, uh, would you call yourself a relativist, existentialist? What would you be? Um, are you atheist, agnostic? I'm an atheist who believes in objectivism, and I believe in objective ways to deem... Okay, as an atheist objectivist, how do you know anything to be objectively true without God? Because we have certain epistemological reasons. You just appealed to to a community of knowledge. That already assumes that, that, that okay. your predication okay. is validated, don't you see? I'm asking you, sir, what do you know without God? Remember, you got to go to work, so you got to answer this question quick. You let me finish. I've asked you the question ten times. Could you let him finish? Uh, what, see, the thing is that you have to define, uh -huh. you have to define knowledge, right? Okay, define it for us. Hurry. Justify true belief. You already said that. So you define knowledge already for us as justified true belief. I don't even disagree with you. My question is, okay, according to that definition, what do you know for certain without God? The problem is that there's sufficient justification to say that God What, what, what? There's not significant enough justification to make the claim that... We know anything for certain? We, that we know that there is a God that exists. Okay, that wasn't my question. Let me try it again, everybody. Maybe write it down, take a picture, turn the microphone on or something. Let me ask you this simple question again. Without God, how do you know anything for certain? Again, these devices that we use, such as logic and reason, are self-justifying. They're tautological in nature. Okay, I'll help you. Is it, are you know for certain that they're tautological in nature? Well, the thing is, is that you can't argue for these things without using them, which would be... Do you know for certain that you can't argue with those things without using them? Certainty. You, you, can, you can make the claim, basically, that you don't really know anything. Can you know for certain that you can make that claim? How do you know that? Because there's certain, again, the problem with epistemology is that you, you're you constantly in search for sufficient enough justification to say yeah. that you know yeah, that. Yeah, let me help you out with your epistemology here. The way that epistemology works is like this, is that everything that we know is based on pre-commitments that we'd already made, and those pre-commitments are, are, are informed by our worldview. 
and you have a certain assum assumed worldview that you bring to the table. So when you analyze any article of knowledge whatsoever, or you make any article of uh, any claim of knowledge whatsoever, your worldview has already assumed and has already informed your answer. My thing is this: if we're not honest with our assumptions, if we're not honest with our our, our presuppositions then we never get anywhere in terms of the argument of either philosophy or epistemology or metaphysics or anything. The last thing I'll say before I go, okay. that, that is itself based on a presupposition. That That's right. Certain, so every I'm not denying the, pre, the transcendental nature of worldviews. You are. But the problem is, uh, uh, but the last thing I'll say is that everything you say suggests that there is a God, and huh? that is based, you know, that is sufficient. Yeah. That gives sufficient enough justification would it, to would know it, something. Would it be safe, based on the things that you said here today, would it be safe for me to, to say about you that you don't know anything for certain? Yes. You could, that you, you could, could be you that could you be wrong about everything that you claim to know? Absolutely. So then it follows that even in terms of your assertions about God, you could be wrong. Again, this is a... No, right or wrong. You could be wrong about your assertions concerning God. Absolutely. And I, and I so then for you to come up and say, according to Christianity, you cannot do X, Y, and Z, that is false, isn't it? Because you don't know for certain. I gotta get to work, but... Of course you do. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, just before you speak, let me just clarify here. My argument as a Christian, I've uh, been coming to this campus for about 12 years now, and I've been making the what's known as a transcendental argument for the existence of God. It goes something like this. Without God, we don't have the, the foundations for morals, meaning, and beauty, aesthetics. We do not have the basis for ethics, morality, epistemology, or metaphysics, the study of reality. Without God as your precondition, your pre-commitment, and your foundation for reason, you don't have a tenable, meaning a reliable, worldview. You have a self-refuting worldview. Exhibit A, that young man that just left, he came up here saying, you cannot do this as a Christian. You cannot assert that by your belief in God. But this is a person who just got done telling us, I could be wrong about everything I claim to know. See, what, see what's going on there? He's saying, I absolutely know for certain that I don't know anything, absolutely. <laughs> that, is, that is the epitome of a self-refuting position, okay? But you say neither do you, but I'm going to ask you, how do you know that for certain? <laughs>